Hey guys, one of the most common questions we get from people who are coming to Japan is how they can stay connected to the internet because obviously lots of people want to stay connected to the internet so they can keep in contact with the rest of the world. Also, the internet is a handy tool to have while you're traveling around Japan. It helps you to stay on top of your, your plans and, and get information before you arrive, places that you're going to and things like that. So there are a few options. We've made a number of videos over the years showing you different Wi-Fi options and internet options in Japan, internet cafes and all sorts of things. However, obviously the, the best option is to have a Wi-Fi hotspot or Wi-Fi router with you is really the best way to guarantee you're going to have connection when you want it because all the other options are hit and miss and not quite as reliable and there's all sorts of other reasons as we've explained on previous videos so really the only way to really make sure that you've got constant internet connection is to get hold of a, a Wi-Fi router or hotspot and keep that with you so they're small and they're light we've got two options here two different ones two different versions basically the same thing same weight you know connecting to them is the same as you connect to Wi-Fi anywhere else you put in the code and boom and you're connected sort of thing so if you can connect to the internet via Wi-Fi wherever you are in the world now then if you come to Japan and you use one of these you should be able to connect to one of these as well just the same way your device will search for a connection there it is you put in the passcode and you're connected and off you go so these guys, we get these ones, Japan Mobile Rentals, there are a couple of options in Japan. We use these guys because they're English friendly and they're really customer service focused. And if you send them a, an email and you want the answer to a question, they get back to you straight away, which we have found is very important to people who are here on holidays. They don't want to wait days for a response. If they've got a query, they want an answer as soon as possible. So of all the different companies here, we've tried a couple of them, experimented with a couple of them. The best that we've found is Japan Mobile Rentals. So those guys have actually given us devices in the past to test, which we did and found them to be very good. That's when we gave them their first endorsement, gave, told you guys about them. Um, they've recently sent us these two and said, suggested that we check, check them out. We've got one here, one, one here is the 4G. This one's the 4G router. So it's 4G, 7 gigabyte limited, so it slows down up to 7 gigabytes. Um, and it's a little bit faster than this one, which is unlimited data, which is connected to Docomo. And But we tested them for a month, and we've got, we have smartphones and we have iPads. And we tested them and some people that were with us, we, we actually had all the, the passcodes written down, we gave them to people. That we were with as we as we were traveling around and moving around the place and had different people test them out over the last month and we sort of split um, most people said that the unlimited data one this one unlimited data that's supposed to be slower than this one but in actual fact nobody said they found it to be too slow so everybody said it was fast enough so it really doesn't matter it seems the people that used this one were happy the people that connected to this one were happy so it doesn't seem to matter <laughs> So it's up to you. Probably, probably the unlimited data is good. You can go for it then. You know, you don't have to worry about it reaching a limit. But then this one, it reached its limit. It didn't seem to slow down much anyway. So we didn't really notice the difference. So either of them is great. Either of them is great. Um, apparently this one, this one's a little bit better in the countryside. But again, we travelled around and we found they both work just as well. So either of these. So we'll put a link underneath this video to English Friendly Japan because these guys are English friendly, we endorse them, they're on our list of uh, highly recommended suppliers because they give the customers good service and because they respond to emails quickly and everything we've heard back from our customers or from their customers about them has been very positive. So we're happy to endorse them. So they're on a highly recommended list, which is a very short list of all the different companies that are on English Friendly Japan. There's only a short list of highly recommended and these guys are on it. So there'll be a link underneath this video. You can click that and connect with these guys. If you want to just check their website out, if you're interested in the prices and you're coming for a week or a month or three months or however long you're coming for. If you're coming for longer, send them an email. They'll, they can do long-term plans with you and all sorts of things. So it's brilliant. Basically what you do is you book it online. You, you say when you're coming and where you're going to be when you arrive. So you might be in a hotel or staying with a friend or somewhere. You tell them where you're going to be when you arrive and what date, what time. And, and a parcel will turn up in the post with this and a charger and a little brochure telling you how to use it. 
and it's all in a nice little yellow bag like this, keeping it all nice and tidy. So that's the whole thing. It's not heavy, it's pretty light. You just throw it in your bag. And then it also has this. It's a return envelope. So what you do is it arrives at your hotel or wherever you are. You just turn it on. There's no lock on it. Turn it on. It's got a passcode. Check to the internet. That's it. You're done. You can use the internet for the whole time that you're here. And then when it comes time to go home, all you do is you put it all back in that yellow bag nice and tidily, stick it in one of these envelopes and throw the envelope in the post box and it just goes back to them. So it's a brilliant system. It really is a good system and by far the best option. By far the best option because all the other options uh, have pitfalls and problems and things as we showed you previously. So the, the link to these guys is underneath this video. And you can find them on English Friendly Japan. If you just search, if you forget all about this video and six months from now you're going to Japan, just go to English Friendly Directory, English Friendly Japan Directory, and search Wi-Fi in the search box and it'll come up with these guys. Okay? Fabulous. There you go. So every time someone asks us a question about how do I connect to the internet in Japan, they're going to be sent this video. <laughs> so it's probably you. There you go. There's your answer to your question. More videos? Coming soon.